Hello my friend, what's going on? This is Emmanuel Adibola, A.K. the Forex Apostle. So in this video, we're going to be looking into inside bar trading strategy. Inside bar. What is an inside bar? How can you trade it? How can you set your stop loss, your take profit? What are the risks involved? And so other uh, stuff we're going to be talking about in this training. But before we get started, do me a favor, smash on that subscribe button right now if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel do me that favor okay this is a free video but by you doing that it's going to help you know house with the youtube algorithm and make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you will be notified when next we upload this kind of a video okay so i'm going to give you five seconds to do that and we'll get started i'm going to take you to my system where we will dive into inside class trading strategy are you ready to change your career or are you looking to make extra income outside what you are currently making do you belong to one of these groups one you've been hearing about cryptocurrencies or blockchain technology but you don't have a clue how to get started two you've been hearing about forex trading but you have no clue how to make money with it three you have lost your hard-earned money into crypto sharks or forex sharks four you are sick and tired of your job and you want your freedom? The Forex Apostle Mentoring Program is the global leader in Forex, stocks, and crypto education. As a disciple of the Forex Apostle, you gain skills that you need to succeed in this new economy. Get more than just extra income. Start living life on your term and at your own design. Join the community of like-minded people working towards the same goal as you. Become a Forex disciple today. Visit www.theforexapostlementoring.com to join us. Let's talk about it. What is an inside bar? What is an inside bar? What is an inside bar? An inside bar, I mean, just take a look at it when you say inside. It means something is inside of something. So an inside bar pattern is a two-bar price action trading strategy in which the inside bar is smaller and within the high to low range of the prior bar. Don't worry, I will explain all those English. That is, the high is lower than the previous bar's high, and the low is higher than the previous bar low. All this is grammar. Its relative position can be at the top, the middle, or the bottom of a prior bar. What do we call bar? When you look at your chart, we have bar charts, we have line charts. So, if you are using a bar, bar chart, that is where you'll be able to identify this. So, this is inside bar right now. So, when you see this, okay, so take a look at this. This is, the, we call this one the mother bar because it's the mother. And we call this one the inside bar because it's inside. When you look at the high, so this is the high of this. Okay, this is the high of this. This is, okay, this is the low of this. You can see right there. So the low of this is here. The high of this is here. So when you look at it, the high and the low of this inside bar is inside this mother bar. So we call this one the mother bar. I will call this one the baby bar or inside bar. So you see the mother bar, it, it doesn't matter the color of the candle. This, it could be bullish, it could be uh, bearish. So like this again, you can see this is like this, this is like this. So the same thing, you can see this one, this is mother bar because the high and the low takes, you know, swallows that. It's just like opposite of what many of you know as engulfing candlestick pattern. Do you get that? Do you get that definition? If you get that definition, say yes, 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 yes. Come on guys, say yes, 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 yes. Let's see. I want to be sure that I'm dragging you along that you understand what we are doing together. If you understand that, say yes. Come on, type yes, yes, yes. You understand that definition. We're going to be looking into our chart and we will identify them. But you need to understand it from here. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Let's move on. So inside bar shows a period of consolidation. That's why we have inside bar. It shows a period of consolidation in the market. A daily chart inside bar will look like a triangle. 
on one hour because it's consolidating or 30 minutes chart okay so that is exactly what you have they often form following a strong move in the market as it pauses okay i want you to understand the concept why we have it okay you have been running you have been running then you slow down you slow down so as it pauses to consolidate before making its next move however they can also form at market turning point please understand that it's it, it therefore me that you can have it when the market is trending or you can have it when the market is about to reverse so we can have it as a turning point and act as a reversal signal from key support and resistance level okay so how do you trade with inside bar how do you trade with inside bar before we go into that let's quickly look into let's quickly go to our chart let's go to our chart and just identify one or two then let's let's open a chart let's open a chart and then we will identify let's just open a chart real quick all right so let's see let's just open one chart let's say euro usd this euro usd then remember we have candlestick we have bar chart and we have line graph so we are talking about candlestick right here so let me pick uh let me just pick one of my templates a regular template and uh of course you have this take a look at this so with that definition what we are looking for is a candle that swallows another candle so we'll take a look at this this one here this is the high of this this is the low of this You guys see that this is the eye this is the low then look at this right candle this is the high this is the low so this right here is inside bar do we get that if you get that please type seven on that chart window type seven on that chart window so right there that is inside bar because it swallows this is the mother bar this is the inside bar you can see it anywhere you can see it anywhere this is also an inside bar but it might not fall it might not qualify for what we are going to be discussing because this is the high this is the low this is the high of this this is the low so you see it everywhere on your on your chart let's take a look again this is another one actually because when you look at the high of that a little bit they are the high is the same thing but the low of this is lower than this so this is another one right there so you will see you will pretty much you will see it everywhere this is another one this is another one right there they have the same high okay but the low of the green one goes below that so when you come down right there right there right there that is another one so uh if you let's look again let's look again i just want you guys to be able to see it once you are able to see it you understand what we are talking about and then uh, you should be able to work with it anytime let's take a look let's take a look again let's take a look just uh okay this is another one you can see right here this grain is there this is the low then the red you can see the red right there so when you combine these two actually this one also is inside this okay this one is inside this so when you combine these three we have inside bar combo right there so that is another one okay let's take a look at one more then we'll continue with our training uh let's take a look at one more this this is inside bar take a look at this look at this right there this is the high of that red candle this is the low of that red candle but look at this grain this is the high of the grain and this is the low of the grain so you will agree with me that combining these two together we have inside bar do you guys understand that right now you can find it in one hour in one minute in five minutes in daily chart but this strategy is more profitable okay more profitable and puts you 
put you uh, uh give you peace of mind if you trade it on higher time frame like four hours or daily chart okay but that doesn't mean that you can't trade it in any other time frame like this this is one hour you can use if you are intraday trader you can use 15 minutes five minutes uh, you can use uh you can use one hour as you can see so you can go in fact all day long just try to be looking for this inside bar and once you identify it you you just you can just you know begin to act on it so we we go continue right there any question any question before we continue you can just type your question any question guys any question any question before we continue any question just type it right on the chat window then i uh, will attend to it if you have any question type it on the chat window and we i uh, will just attend to it okay so let's uh let's continue let's continue guys let's continue okay let me look for my slide let me look for my slide okay here we are i got it. Okay, so this is where we ask like show from current slide. So how to trade with inside bars? How do we trade with inside bars? Because that is the what is most important that you need to understand. Inside bars can be traded in trending market. I've explained that before. Remember, market does three things. Okay, the market will do three things. It's either it's trending up or is trending down as a forex trader you need to know that or is ranging up and down up and down up and down these are the three things the market does is either is trending up is trending down or is flat is ranging so now how do you trade you can trade this when the market is trending either is trending up or is trending down so that's what I'm trying to explain right there. Inside bar can be traded in trending markets in the direction of the trend. In the direction of the trend, when traded this way, they are typically referred to as a breakout play or an inside bar price action breakout pattern. So the market has been going up, it has been going up, then inside bar form right there. So it could serve as a continuation of the trend because many times you will discover that the trend has started okay the trend has started and you miss the beginning of the trend so if you understand the inside bar trading strategy you'll be able to use that to your advantage to know where to jump and join the trend does that make sense so the trend has started uh is the good the market has been going down but you didn't start at the beginning of the trend then you are now looking at okay where can i join i see a uh, jsg arnold must the low candle be on the right side of the higher candle yes that is why it is called inside bar if it's on the left side then that is another pattern entirely then you'll be talking about engulfing candle or big shadow depends on the where it forms do you understand arnold lhc okay so let's continue so inside bar inside bars can be traded in trending markets in the direction of the trend when traded this way they are typically referred to as a breakout play or an inside bar price action okay so they can also be traded counter trend i mean some of my students that have been using for exmatic 360 you know that yes we can trade against the trend who says you can't trade against the trend you can trade against the trend but you understand when and how <laughs> understand when where and how so they can also be traded counter trend typically from key chart levels when traded this way they are often referred to as inside bar inversion so in other in other words you can trade inside bar with the trend okay that is in the trending market and you can also trade it as a counter trend at a very key chart levels to you know to capture the initial reversal of a trend okay so how to trade with inside bar how do you put your entry stop loss and profit target i'm trying to 
you know make sure that i give to you everything you need and then we just go to q a the classic entry for an inside bar signal is to place a buy stop or sell stop at the high or low of the mother bar okay and then when price breaks out above or below the mother bar your entry order is filled i know some of you that's too much english so this is what i'm explaining so we have we have our inside bar as you can see this is the mother bar because this is the high this is the low this is the inside bar this is the high this is the low so how do you put how do you place this kind of order you will put a self stop there are a lot of videos you will see on youtube guys but trust me a lot of them are totally wrong i learned this strategy from the from the master <laughs> himself uh, the guy that I learned this strategy from now, okay, in Australia, this guy, okay, actually won a competition, a million dollars contest with this strategy. So I learned from, when I say I learned from the master, I always try to learn from the best. I'm not taking the credit of this strategy. And because I'll see a lot of people, they will put the self stop at the, at the low of the of the inside bar no you will put the self stop or the buy stop at the low or the high of the mother bar depends on the case so in this case the trend is down the trend is down so we want to join we want to join the trend so you now see this inside bar forms so you will put a sell entry in this case a self stop in this case, a self stop. You put it like a three to five pips below, okay, below that mother bar. So when you put that, then where does your stop loss go? Your stop loss will come three to five pips, depends on the time frame you are working with. If you are working with daily chart, I will put it like ten pips. So the self stop will come above the high of the mother bar. So then you take profit. Depends on the system you are using. You can use one to one risk to reward ratio. You can use one to two risk to reward ratio. It depends on depends on the system you are using. Okay, there are a lot of ways by which you can discover the trend. First of all, you have to be able to identify the trend. There are different different systems you can use to identify the trend. Okay, and I'm going to be teaching based on what I do with my students. We have our own systems that we use. We have Tradermatic, we have Forexmatic, 360, we have FX Snipers, we have Easy PC FX. All these four systems are, in fact, even the simplest out of them all, Easy Trend, helps to identify the trend. But some will tell you, okay, if you don't have any of all these systems how do you recognize the trend because you must first of all recognize the trend so how do you recognize the trend you can use 10 moving average okay simple moving average sma so once the price is respecting 10 simple moving average you will say okay the trend is up but this is when you are intra day trader okay and you can use a, a simple moving average cross section 8 and 21 why 8 and 21 because they are in fibonacci okay once 8 crosses a 21 you can say okay this the trend is up and so on and so forth but i'm not going to be going into all of that because we have our own systems that help us to identify the trend but now we're talking about how do you place this trade so you put your set stop right below below the mother bar the stop loss goes right above the mother bar and of course they take profit you can measure the number of pips that you are risking right here and that will be your take profit depends on time frame on the time frame you are using so if you are risking 40 pips right here then your take profit also could be 40 pips do you guys understand that do you guys understand that if you understand that type yes 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 type yes i understand type yes i understand if you understand that type yes, yes, yes. 
if you understand that type yes okay thank you nick if you understand that type yes type yes 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 uh sam sam says can this be applied to any trading peer yes sam you can use this to trade any trading peer you can use this to trade uh stocks you can use this to trade cryptocurrencies you can use this to trade uh indices you can use this to trade them um, any any currency peer as long as it or is on mt4 i don't use a trader view i don't use any other trading i use a uh, mt4 all right so let's continue let's continue so that is how you place your trade so now stop loss placement is typically at the opposite end of the mother bar i've just explained that or it can be placed near the mother bar halfway why how do you do that if the mother bar is big if the mother bar is big let's say like in this situation if the mother bar is like 100 pips okay that is you measure this mother bar it's like 100 pips and the inside bar here is like 20 pips so you can put your stop loss at the middle of this of this mother bar does that make sense guys does that make sense please type yes i want to be sure it makes sense to you guys uh, that's the purpose of doing this that's the purpose of doing this i want to be sure that it makes sense to you does that make sense if the mother bar if the mother bar is big enough let's say like 100 pips and the small bar and the inside bar is like 20 it's like 15 pips it's like 30 pips then you can put your stop loss at the middle 50 percent middle of this mother bar okay so that is the strategy right there let's continue uh so let's take a look at some example trading inside bars in a trending market uh for example like this in this example okay we can see what it looks like to trade an inside bar patterns in line with the trending market in this case it was downtrend market so the inside bar pattern will be called an inside bar sell signal so you have this take a look at this the trend is down okay so right there you see the you see the mother bar you see the inside bar so what do we do we put our sell stop right below the mother bar the stop loss right above the mother bar then you can measure you can measure from this to this and uh, that will be your take profit depends on the system you are using once again you can use risk to reward ratio one to one one to two one to three depends on the time frame and depends on the system that you are using so this is another example okay in this example you can see the inside bar with a trending market in this case the market was trending higher that is trending up okay in this case now the market is trending up okay and this is refers to as inside bar buy signals very soon my book uh naked naked chart blueprints will be out you guys will be able to also get you know nitty gritty of all of this so inside bars this in this situation we we'll call it inside bar by signals because you can see right there you can see the market is trending up the market is trending up okay so once the market is trending up then what are we looking to do we are looking to join the trend okay and it's formed in the middle so this is the mother bar this is the inside bar so what do you do you put your buy stop order right there then stop loss right there then you measure from here to here okay and you take that as your take profit and then boom you get that this is another example so right there you can see this is the mother bar this is the inside bar so what do you do you measure okay you take your this is the buy stop this is the stop loss and the measure up boom right there you will take your profit as i said it depends on the time frame you are using if you are using a smaller time frame like five minutes 
uh, this could give you like 10 pips, 20 pips. If you are using a time frame like a daily chart, just this one to one risk to reward ratio alone could give you almost 150, 300 pips. And of course, you know that is how we make money in Forex. Okay, we make money by the number of pips that we harvest and of course directly proportional to the account size that you have okay directly proportional to the account that you have if you have an account that is a five hundred dollars you can't be making the same with somebody that have an account of fifty thousand dollars even if you harvest the same number of pips and you also know that you shouldn't be trading the same pips at uh, the same lot size Okay, you know that. Uh, we are not trying to go to the basics right now, but I want to believe that you understand all those concepts. And in case you are connected with us, you you don't understand what we mean by lot size and this and that, then it means you need to start from the basics. And that is why I'm making you a special offer this weekend. This job this weekend alone, alone, okay? So let's continue. So how to trade inside bars against the trend? how to trade inside bars against the trend okay in this example we are looking at trading an inside bar pattern okay against the dominant daily trend so this is the trend this is the trend right now the trend is down in this case okay so but because we have a key level this is a key okay at this stage right now is a resistance okay but then Coming to this point, when it comes over here, it becomes another resistance. Inside bar at this, so the market went or break this as a resistance, so it becomes support to this up movement. Okay, it come back to this point as you can see that right there, we have a key level. A resistance can become a support depends on what you are working with. So, in this case, we are not looking to place a sell stop. But we are looking to what to pick a reversal and when you are able to identify that you will be able to capture the trend even before the masses is this is this giving somebody a goosebump right there is this is this sending some signal to somebody right there that wow wow how come i have not been trading this who is feeling like that right now who is feeling like that right now that wow wow I can't believe this. Who, who is there right there? Right there, right there. Let me see. Come on, let's see. Who is feeling like that? Who is feeling like that? Okay, and then you can say, wow. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, Chuku says, sir, under what condition can you apply sell stop and buy stop using the inside buy strategy? I just explained that. Okay. I just explained that. Ah, uh, if you have a question, okay, I still ban. My guy from London just join us. Now we can start. Let the party begin. All right. So let's continue. Good to see you, Ben. Uh, let's see. So you understand this now. So this is this market, as you can see, the, the, this is a down. This is a down market right here. But the market reverses here. So we have up right there. It comes back down. So what are you expecting again? Up. So in this case, we have this double bottom right there. I mean, some of you that knows me know that I don't really care about this double bottom, double top. But then you still have to know them because that is what the banks trade. The banks trade price action. Okay. And once they have that, they work based on it. Anytime you see W shape on your chart, very nice strategy. Every time you see M shape on your chart, double top right good opportunity for you to trade and so on and so forth all right are you guys feeling me at all are you guys getting this are you guys getting this okay so let's uh let's move let's move let's move right so in this example you can see another one um another example of a trading and inside bar against the trend who say you cannot trade against the trend who says that you can trade against the trend as long as you know how where and, and and when so like in this case now you see trading and inside by against the recent trend momentum and from key chart level so in this case as you can see again so the market was up okay 
got to this uh, resistance level, bounce back, okay, come back again, what does that do? It forms a double top right there. So what are you expecting? Down. So now when you see this, take a look at this inside bar. This is an inside bar right there. This is an inside bar because this actually swallowed this. This is a small one right there. But then take a look at this. This is an inside bar. This one is parent, uh, is the mother bar. This is a small one. So what do we do? You will put your, your pending self-stop order right there. So that will be self-stop. Your stop loss will come above there. And uh, depends on the system you are using, you can take your profit, okay? Uh, normally, if I'm trading this kind of a uh, uh, market, this way I will be targeting for my take profit actually because of this level right there. Okay, so this is uh this is this making sense to somebody? Come on, guys, give me give me a seven, give me a seven if this is making sense to you. If this is making sense, Stan is the unbelievable. Yes, once you understand this strategy, you should be able to outsmart the big boys in the market. All right, let me ask you a question, guys. Let me ask you a question. Would it be nice if you don't have to stress over identify inside bar on your chart by yourself? How many of you will love that? That okay, you don't have to, you don't have to start, you know, uh stressing your face and stressing your eyes to identify how many of you will love this to be done for you automatically, to be done for you, like uh, I mean hands off i mean if you would like that to be done come on guys come on guys let's see say yes 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 and if you don't want then we can just hand the training right now how many of you will love this would it be nice if you have a system that could just identify that for you you know without you and even notify you that okay this is this is it this is it this is it without you stressing your faces because many times you have many chats open it will be very very impossible for you to start looking for inside bar by yourself all day long but when you have a system that will identify that for you that is that is what we mean by system a system makes your life easier it's not that maybe most of all these things you cannot do it by yourself why do you have a motor car why do you buy a car because a car is a system why do we have this kind of training right now using this platform it's a system i could just be calling you one after another and be explaining the same concept to you or that will wear me out so when you have a system it makes your life easier so how many of you i see some from the years so bring down do i see your youtube good to see you bro so right there you know once you have that i, I mean <laughs> that is what i just thought right that all of you will like to have that so we'll be able to integrate this strategy into most of our systems uh, for instance if you are using tradermatic vip version vip version not the basic version okay if you are using tradermatic vip version so you'll be able to get this okay you see what we have right there the trend has started you are not you are unable to capture and even if you are able to capture it right there you see right there you are able to capture right there this is for the reversal you see right there this is what i call congruence on trading you see the bar right there that is inside bar this is i mean this is so powerful that <laughs> when i got it i said wow 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 so you see right there so you are using tradermatic and this is is this, you see the inside bar there and all you have to do let's assume that you are still contemplating okay is this right is this, is this wrong so what you just do is you just place your self stop right there your stop loss just go right above there you are risking just these small tight pips and then depends on the take profit strategy you want to use you can do one to one you can look into your left uh, and see the next bearish box and you just cash out from there and okay you missed that this is another opportunity for you it's okay the trend is still down then you look right there right there you put your self stop below you put your uh, stop loss above you measure then boom you have your take profit 
then okay you miss that again but then phoenix shows up once you see mr phoenix you say oh my god okay we're about to have a reversal then you have inside bar boom so the reversal inside bar shows what do you do you put your pending buy stop right there your stop loss go below there you measure right there one to one or one to two and boom up there who is excited who is excited with this i don't know if you, are, if you guys are excited but i am so excited with this discovery i am so so excited myself with this discovery okay this goes up right there okay then boom you see the box right there again even though this is bullish then you see the inside bar box you can you can even change this to regular charts to for you to confirm then boom right there you put your set stop again you put have a cover guys who will not make money in forex you will not make money with forex when you have this current system except if you have a, you you sworn an oath with the devil that okay making money in forex is not for your destiny even if you have that oath in place this system will break such covenant because it's just even if you say okay you know what i don't want to make money i don't want tips this system will force you to have tips okay so that is what we'll be able to do and of course with forexmatic 360 you have it also right there boom right there right there so that's okay you still don't know okay ah uh, should i go long should i there you have this system you can do this you just put your right there set stop even though with this kind of system you will have so so many so many opportunity telling you this is another one right there okay some of you that you've learned kangaroo tail for me you will see right there this another another right there okay another right there talking about big shadow you get that so let's say okay in all of this you still miss this you miss this this is another box that just shows up all you need to do is put your set stop right there put your stop loss right there then how do you do you can use this as your take profit one take profit two take profit three the fibo level right there or you just do one to one risk to reward ratio i mean come on guys i'm so excited with this discovery okay this is another one you okay the, the market is down so what are we looking to do we are still looking for what to sell then boom you put your set stop boom stop loss then you just look at that boom you take your profit and you go home sleeping why others are just struggling and they are wondering maybe you are into drugs but they don't know that your drugs is on your system i mean guys it can't be easier than this it cannot just be easier than this it cannot just be easier than this if you are excited just say thumbs up thumbs up and you are connected right on the youtube and you have not subscribed come on smash that subscribe button subscribe to this youtube channel and leave a comment say wow 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 <laughs> all right all right i'm going to be hanging out with my vip students we go uh do some q a and you are free to still join us if you are connected on youtube uh but i'm so excited i'm so excited about this um points to remember why trading the inside bar as i begin to tidy up this number one as a beginning trader it is easier to learn how to trade inside bar in line with the dominant daily chart trend or in line with the trend inside bars at key levels as reversal plays a bit quicker and take more time so you need to understand if you are just starting it is better and it's easier to trade with the trend um with that you know at least you are 80 percent most of the time always right number two inside bars work best on the daily chart time frame okay you can do this you can trade this with five minutes 15 minutes uh but as i said is would it be nice if you are trading and you just you know market closes and you just we call it 30 minutes trading system you just go to your charts spend 20 30 minutes to identify trading opportunity instead of gluing your faces to the chart to your system all day long so it works best on higher time frame okay then points to remember number three inside bars can have multiple inside bars within the model range 
sometimes you will see two, three, or even four inside bars within the same mother bar structure. So, yes, it's still right and it's still inside bar. Number four, practice identifying inside bars on your charts before you try to trade them live. Some of you will be so excited, right, that you can't wait for Australian market to open tomorrow. But a hey, pause a second. Try this on your demo. Understand the concept before you trade it live. Okay? And uh, of course, uh, number five, inside bars sometimes form following pen bar patterns. We'll be looking into pen bars and uh, of course, if you are one of my students who have looked into kangaroo tail, there's, di there's a difference between kangaroo tail and the pen bar. So we'll be looking into that, but know that it combines. Remember, I said I learned this from Nell, okay? I, just like you guys pay me to coach you, I also pay others to learn what is working for them and it's my job to steal it and give also to you. So, right. So you need to understand that inside bars typically offer good risk reward ratio if you trade on a higher time frame, honestly speaking. All right, so I hope you have understood what we mean by inside bar. So the assignment I'm going to give to you now is to go to your charts, okay? Open different charts, especially for hours, uh, weekly and daily charts. Try to identify inside bars, you know? Even though you have an indicator that will do that for you as a VIP member, but you still need to be able to identify it on your chart and learn how to trade it. Okay? Until next time, keep harvesting those pips.